Hi, welcome to Fish on Fridays. I'm Al McCauley. And today I want to introduce you to what might be the shortest, the easiest, and potentially most powerful prayer anyone can utter. And it's only one word. And this story really originates with a guy named Blessed Richard Roll. He or is also known as Richard the Hermit. He is a 14th century English monk. He was a mystic and he was a writer. And the story is that Richard was asleep and he was awakened by a terrifying apparition of a demon right by his bed. And all he had time to do in terms of reaction was to utter loudly the name of Jesus. Jesus. And with that one word, the demon fled. That's how the story goes. And so you think about this. The, the, as I said at the beginning, the easiest, the shortest, and potentially most powerful prayer anybody can utter is Jesus. Think of a time in your life when you might be just up against it. You know, you're really stressed. There's, there's a lot of tension in your life, especially in moments of trauma or, or major happenings, major events. Just uttering the name of Jesus can bring peace. It can bring us a sense of calm. And it will be powerfully received in heaven. Now, this is not just Richard Roll saying this. This, is, this comes to us from Scripture. So I'm, I just want to read to you two passages, one from the Old Testament, one from the New Testament, just to kind of prove and buttress this idea that the name of Jesus is important. And it really is uh, potentially something that can be the most powerful thing you'll ever utter. So the first thing I'm going to read from my Bible, so I'll look off screen, but the first uh, passage comes from Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 10. And this is what the author says. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous person runs into it and is safe. Now, that right there describes pretty much to me what Richard Rohl went through that night where he had this demonic apparition, that, that the Lord preserved him, the Lord kept him safe. I'm going to flip now to the New Testament, the letter to the Philippians, Paul's letter to the Philippians. And I'm going to read from chapter 2, and this starts with verse 9. And there's a lot here, but I just want to read a little bit of it just to give you the, the extent of it. Therefore, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name, which is above every other name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. So no wonder the demon left Richard Roll because, you know, every name has to bow, every, I'm sorry, every knee has to bow at the name of Jesus, whether you're in heaven, on earth, or under earth, where the demon comes from. So this is a prayer of protection. It's a prayer that will give us strength, that will give us peace if it's a heartfelt reliance on Jesus. Now, just one more thing I want to say. We have to understand that in the biblical tradition, names aren't just what you're called. It's really, it signals to something deeper, what you're meant to do and what you're meant to be. So the name Jesus, which is kind of an English way of saying the word Jeshua, the name Jeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua means our Lord saves. And what did Jesus do? He saved us. And so with his, with his whole uh, coming into the world, his death, his resurrection. So he, that, that name Jesus, our Lord saves, that's exactly what we can experience when we turn to him. So in times of discomfort, in times of trauma, in times of stress, Look to our Lord and utter over and over again the name Jesus. And I, I hope it brings you peace. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, please feel free to share this content. Uh, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook. Uh, either way, thank you for tuning in every Friday for Fish on Fridays. Until next time, please be good to each other and God bless. Mm -hmm.